Morihei Ueshiba, founder of Aikido. Unlike classical Japanese martial arts, which stressed victory at all costs on the battlefield, Ueshiba O Sensei conceived of Aikido as a means for achieving the peaceful resolution of conflict and promoting harmonious interaction among members of society. Today, the martial art he originated is practiced by more than 300,000 enthusiasts all over the world. The founder passed away in 1969, and for many of today's practitioners, he has assumed an almost mythical dimension. Yet to convert this most extraordinary individual into a mere icon would render a disservice to the ideal he strove so hard to achieve. What is the origin of Aikido techniques? What influences shape the founder's thinking? It is the early formative years of Morihei Ueshiba which hold the key to an understanding of the uniqueness of modern Aikido. Let us explore the events of the life of the young Morihei Ueshiba in order to lift the shroud of mystery surrounding the creation of Aikido. Morihei was born in the port town of Tanabe in Wakayama Prefecture on December 14, 1883 as the only son of prominent community member Yoroku Ueshiba. Yoroku was a man of considerable means and served as a town councilman for many years. Morihei started out as a sickly child, but with his father's encouragement, he engaged in strenuous exercise gradually achieving robust health. After passing his childhood in his native Tanabe, Morihei spent a period of several months in Tokyo at the age of 17, where he practiced Tenshin Shinyo Ryu Jujitsu. He soon fell ill with Beri Beri, and was forced to return to his native Tanabe to regain his health. In late 1903, Morihei joined the Japanese Imperial Army shortly before the outbreak of the Russo-Japanese War. It was during his military service that he engaged in the study of Yagyu-ryu Jiu-Jitsu. Back home in Tanabe, after distinguishing himself in military service, Morihei spent several restless years, during which time he engaged in a brief period of training in Judo, about 1910. During this period, the Japanese government was providing incentives for those hardy individuals who would accept the challenge of settling the northernmost island of Hokkaido. In 1912, seeking a new life of adventure, Morihei led a party of young men from his native Tanabe to a remote area of Hokkaido called Shirataki. There, Ueshiba and the group set about the arduous task of hewing a new life out of the wilderness. Morihei was a leading citizen in this sparsely populated area and served for a time as a councilman. Life in Hokkaido was very demanding due to the severe weather conditions and backward nature of the area. Farming and logging were the main pursuits of the colonizers of this region. In 1915, Morihei had his fateful first encounter with Sokaku Takeda of Daito Ryu Jiu Jitsu. This meeting changed the course of the founder's life, and the techniques of Daito Ryu left an indelible stamp on the Aikido which would later emerge. Morihei later invited his teacher Takeda to his home in Shirataki to accelerate his learning of the techniques of Daito Ryu. After a short time, Morihei was awarded scrolls attesting to his proficiency in Daito Ryu Jiu Jitsu.
Morihei left Tokaido suddenly after receiving a telegram in late 1919 informing him that his father was gravely ill. He left his home and most of his possessions with Sokaku Takeda and set out for Tanabe. As Morihei was en route to his hometown, another event of great importance in the future development of Aikido was to take place. He detoured to the town of Ayabe near Kyoto to visit the center of the Omoto religion and pray for his father's recovery. It was there he met a most extraordinary individual, the colorful and enigmatic Onisaburo Deguchi. Deguchi, the prime mover behind the explosive growth of the Omoto religion, was soon to become Morihei's spiritual mentor, and Onisaburo's philosophical views would later serve as the ideological basis of Aikido. Arriving too late to comfort his dying father and overcome with grief, Morihei moved his family to Ayabe in the spring of 1920 to seek solace in the Omoto religion. He became an active member of the religious community and a trusted follower of Onisaburo Deguchi. Morihei's martial arts skills became well known among Omoto believers, and with Deguchi's blessing, he set aside part of his Ayabe home as a training facility where he taught Daito Ryu Aiki Jiu-Jitsu to fellow devotees. He also received Sokaku Takeda for six months in 1922, at which time he was awarded the Kyoju Dairi Teacher Certification. Ueshiba became part of the inner group of Reverend Deguchi and served as his bodyguard. Among Onisaburo's grandiose visions was the establishment of a utopian colony in Mongolia, which would unite the world's religions. Onisaburo and a party of close associates, including Morihei, left secretly for the continent in February 1924. Deguchi's group became embroiled in local politics and obtained the backing of a prominent rebel leader. Their plans were, however, thwarted, and Deguchi, Weshiba, and the other members of their party were captured by government authorities. The Japanese utopians 